Hey guys, let's just get into this question quickly. Now we have 15x squared minus 7x and that is all equal to 2, okay? Now if you note carefully this quadratic, well this equation is looking a bit different now. Well, you would have realized it's a quadratic because the highest power of the variable is 2, okay? However, it is not looking like the first uh, equation that we had worked with, right? But remember now, we said here, we made a critical note that a quadratic must always, a quadratic equation must always be equal to 0. So since it's not equal to 0, then we're going to have to transpose to equate it to 0. So I have a positive 2, so obviously I will have to subtract 2 from both sides of my equation, okay? So I'm going to say 15x squared minus 7x, okay? And I have a positive 2, so I'm going to have to change my positive sign to a negative, okay? So I'm going to basically subtract 2 from both sides. So I'm going to have my positive 2 minus 2, okay? Remember when you're transposing, you do the opposite of what is happening. So now here I would have 15x squared minus 7x minus 2, and I know that a positive 2 will cancel out with a negative 2. So all of that is now equal to 0. So now we have this quadratic in the general form where ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And here, as it relates to this equation, it's 15x squared minus 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's just quickly uh, look at this. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, let's move over a bit because we're going to need a little bit of space, okay guys, to work with, all right, good. All right, now, basically what we have here, I am now going to find the product of AC, okay, so I'm going to say AC, A times C, and A, I can list them, my A is 15, A is equal to 15, my b is equal to negative 7 and my c is equal to negative 2 okay so basically i'm going to say c is 15 multiplied by sorry my a is 15 multiplied by c which is negative 2 and that will give me 15 times negative 2 will give me a negative 30. Okay, guys? Now, I need to find factors of negative 30. When I add them, I must get my negative 7, which is B. So, let's just list the factors quickly. I have 1 times 30 will give me 30. 2 times 15 will give me 30. 3 times 10 will also give me 30. And 5 times 6. Now, the important thing to note is that when I look at my product AC, my product AC is negative 30, and I know only a positive times a negative will give me a negative number, okay? So obviously, one of these numbers, in my pair of factors that I'll be choosing, one of the factors must be a negative number and the other a positive number. However, I'm going to also look at my B, and my B is a negative 7, so I'm, I want to find which combination will give me a 7, okay? I know that a 1 plus, the sum of 1 plus 30, that's the sum of my factors, must give me b, okay, must sum to b. I know that a 1 and a 30 wouldn't. 2 and 15 wouldn't also. 5 and 6, no. So a 3 and a 10 looks more like it would give me a 7 here. However, I must, since my b here is a negative number, I am going to change the sign on my larger factor because my larger factor most often usually carries the sign of my b okay so both must have the same sign so i'm going to change that on that so i know that a negative three sorry a negative 10 times a positive three will give me a negative 30 and i know that three plus negative 10 or negative 10 plus three will give me a negative 7. So there we have our factors, okay? Let me just pull up this a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work with down here. Okay, guys? Forgive me. All right, good. 
yes so here now let's just get into this quickly now I can replace my B which is negative 7 with my factors okay so here I'm going to rewrite by saying 15 x squared and I'm replacing my negative 7 x with 3 and negative 10 so I'm going to have minus 10 x plus my 3 x minus 2 which is C and all of that must be equal to 0 remember I must take down my equal to 0 because I'm not working with an expression I am working with an equation so I must take down equal to 0 so now I'm going to find what is common so I would have a 5x that is common to 15x squared minus 10x okay so I will say 5 into 15 goes 3 times so I'm going to open my bracket 3 and x into x squared x will cancel our x leave us with an x so I have 5x into now minus 10x so 5 so a positive into a negative will give me a negative so 5 into 10 goes 2 times and x will x this x here will cancel out with that x there okay now I'm going to take down my positive sign right and I'm going to ask myself what is common to 3x and minus 2 okay and I have a 1 there that is common so uh, let me put down my 1 open bracket and I have 1 into 3x will give me a 3x and 1 into negative 2 will give me a negative 2 close my bracket and I ha I must take down again my equal to 0 now I have 5x here multiplying 3x minus 2 and I have a positive 1 multiplying 3x minus 2 now if you notice the same things are in the bracket so I'm just going to combine what's on the outside which is my 5x plus 1 close bracket okay guys and then I'm going to rewrite what's inside of one of the bracket okay so I have 3x minus 2 close bracket and that must be equal to 0 okay now when we reach here it's it's pretty easy from here on in I am just basically going to take what's inside my brackets and equate them to 0 and then solve okay so I'm going to say 5x plus 1 equals 0 or let me put it here or let me change my color I'm going to have a 3x minus 2 equals 0 okay so let us solve quickly I have here a positive 1 1 is being added to 5x so I must do the opposite of addition which is subtraction to, to transpose for x to solve for x okay let me just change that color quickly so I'm going to say 5x plus 1 okay but since the 1 is being added I must now subtract 1 from both sides and that is equal to 0 minus 1 okay so positive 1 will cancel out with a negative 1 alright so I'm left with 5x is equal to negative 1 because 0 plus negative 0 minus 1 is negative 1 now I need x alone over this side so I must take over my 5 so I'm going to ask myself what is 5 doing to x it is being it is multiplying x okay so I must do the opposite of multiplication now, which is division so I'm going to divide through by 5 so 5 will cancel 5 there what I do to that side I must do to this side therefore let me just scroll down a little bit so you can get a little bit more space to see what is happening okay so therefore therefore I have x alone here and my x is equal to negative one fifth okay cool now over here it's the same thing we're just going to transpose I have 2 is being subtracted from 3x so I must do the opposite of subtraction which is addition I'm going to say 3x minus 2 plus 2 and that is equal to 0 plus 2 okay so I know that a negative will cancel out with a positive so I'm left with 3x is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2 so what is 3 doing to x now 3 is multiplying x so I must do the opposite of multiplication which is division so I'm going to divide through by 3 okay so 3 will cancel 3 
and then I'm left with my x. Therefore, x is equal to positive 2 thirds. Okay, and it's that easy, guys. That's my answer. Okay, so x has two values. x can either be negative one-fifth or positive two-thirds okay and it's that easy now you can always subscri subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates on our videos okay feel free to leave a comment or a question and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you